Let me start off by saying that when I found out about this story yesterday, I could not believe that this was actually true. I actually went online to see and look up to see if this story actually did happen because when you hear it, you're going to think like me and think that you are being punked like Ashton Kutcher is going to pop out of somewhere out of a bush with some cameras saying you've been punked because this story right here takes all t pretty much eclipses all the other incidents last year where you had a white woman, in some cases, a white man calling the cops on black people. So you see all the parties involved are right here in this picture right here. This white woman, this black man and the two dogs right there in the bottom of the left picture and that is two dogs getting it in so basically what happened is you had this white woman right here who you can see on the left left and the right and they say she's unidentified i don't know why they didn't give out her name it's like they're trying to place her into the victim bag already and she's i guess casually just walking her dog and whatnot and then you have the black guy right there who's in the top middle picture and they, ironically they gave out his name his name is franklin baxley he's just walking his dog then all of a sudden i guess his dog and her dog may have locked eyes and his dog may have ran over to her dog and just began humping her dog and i'm assuming that the dog and the brown the brown dog is his i can only assume that considering the position that you know and it's natural it's a natural state that dogs like to hump each other when a dog is in heat they'll hump anything that's why you have dogs humping a tree they'll have a dog of course infamously humping somebody's leg is like it's natural but apparently this woman right here took it the wrong way so guess what she did she got out her phone she dialed 911 and she called the cops that's right this woman called the cops on this man because his dog came over and started humping her dog. I cannot make this up. I'm going to leave the link to the article because I think there's some audio attached to it as well. The only reason I'm not playing the audio is because I would probably be laughing so hard at it that I would probably wouldn't be able to make it through this commentary. And I'm trying to be serious right now. But she actually called the cops on this man because his dog ran over and humped her dog. And get this. The police came and they literally took down everything that she said. First off, I'm actually shocked that they came. Well, I'm not, you know, I take that back. No, I'm not. Scratch that previous part from the record. I'm not shocked that they came. But they actually was taking her word for word. And they actually were about to give this man a ticket because he left his car running. They were actually about, they were trying to cite, give him a citation. Not for her wasting their time about a dog humping another dog. Now, here's the thing. Here's a few instances of why she was probably upset. She was probably upset because her dog was getting more action than she was. She was probably upset because the dog didn't run over to hump her. Or she was probably mad that she looked at the black guy and was mad that he didn't approach her. Hey, we know that in, in through historical times that if a black man did not take on the advances of a white woman, she would call rape. She would cry rape, cry wolf, whatever you want to call it. But look at her. Ugh. And she who knows what she does with her dog. She probably saw her dog getting some and she probably got jealous. I wouldn't be in the least bit surprised. Like who calls the cops over a dog doing what's natural to them? dogs have sex they're probably like the only species or one of the few species on the planet that can have sex in public and not get a citation but that's so stupid but it doesn't surprise me and, and i highly doubt anything is going to happen to this woman i'm telling you i cannot make the story up if y'all came over from if y'all are subscribed to willie d's channel then y'all most likely already saw his commentary on it before mine well nine times out of ten but <laughs> this shit is wild. It really is. Like I said, I will leave the link in the description and you can look at it for yourself. And it, it's just ridiculous. Like she could have got this man hemmed up over something like that. And, you know, who knows what could, they could have did to his dog. Like she got that upset over nothing. And who knows, they probably gave him that citation because they said, we, we're just going to give you something because uh, we came out here for nothing. But then why didn't you cite, give her a citation? That, like, that's, a, that's not something 
um, that's not an emergency. You only call when it's an emergency. That was not an emergency. Like I said, this story right here completely eclipses all the other ones that happened last year, in my honest opinion. Like, this one takes the cake. Like, you can't get much more petty than that. But y'all let me know what you think about this down in the comments. Like, share, subscribe. I will talk to you in the next one. And let's be 100% real here. The only reason she called the cops on this man is because he's black. And something that he said in the article, and you'll read it, but I'll say it here. She would have not picked up that phone and called the cops if this was a black man. I mean, this was a white man that was doing it. How do we know that a white man probably walked by with his dog and didn't do the same thing to her dog before and she never called the cops?